These are my tips if you wanna stay slim and not gain weight during winter. Pretty much just quick fire tips that I will give you. When it gets colder, later in the year, it also gets darker. And when it gets darker, 7 p.m. feels like 2 a.m. feels like 10 p.m. Like they all, it kind of just meshes in together. And sometimes you can be a little bit disorientated and not really realize how much it's throwing off your schedule as well and your sleep. For our metabolism to function properly the way we want it to anyway, we need sleep, we need rest, we need recovery. It also keeps your hormones in check. Plus, if you are someone who has these like late night snack attacks, I don't know, you just like to eat a lot at night and that's how you're packing on a lot of calories. If you sleep two hours earlier, that's two hours that you're not eating. So yeah, easy portion control. From now on, it's literally gonna be celebration after celebration. Halloween, Diwali, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of it is coming now, which means parties, food, drinks. But I personally don't go to parties, you know, and think of, you know, my diet the whole time. I do go easy on the sweets and I definitely think that you should think about alcohol. And if you do drink alcohol, I highly recommend sticking to things like Prosecco, champagne, just anything like, you know, sparkling wines. They usually serve them in a smaller glass, a smaller portion. So that's, you know, portion control. Plus, people don't usually get drunk on champagne like, like that level of drunk. And if you do, it's a nice like little buzz. It's not like you're drinking beer and then afterwards you make bad eating decisions and start eating really badly. And on top of that, if you drink other things that make you, give you hangovers and stuff like that, you're lazy the next day, it throws off your routine and it can throw off your routine for quite a few days sometimes. And if we're going back specifically to the alcohol, it is very, very high in calories, high in sugar, and low in nutritional value. At least with things like cake, you know, uh, there's an egg in there somewhere. There's some sort of fuel, I guess, or nutritional value somewhere, right? Eat pumpkin soup or drink pumpkin soup. But pretty much, it's that time of year. Most restaurants, most places are gonna have some pumpkin soup and it's just easy, like healthy, low calorie, fresh, tastes good. Obviously you can make it at home, make it in bulk, have it however many times a day you want. I will leave a recipe in the description box. Take vitamin D, seasonal depression is a real thing, I promise you. There are less hours in the day, it gets dark, you know, you don't really feel, well obviously, Autumn is quite nice, right? Autumn is really pretty and you have like nice things, but still it does get dark and it does feel less bright and happy and stuff and cheery like summer does or like spring does. Plus there isn't the vitamin D from the sun, not as much anyway. So buy vitamin D, get it from not the supermarket, don't get like a on brand, any of that kind of stuff. It is not like ibuprofen or Advil, like where you can, buy an old brand version, it's okay. Go to a Holland and Barrett, go to an organic store, buy it from there, buy the real deal. I will also link one that I like in the description box as well. When it gets to October, November, December, this is cuffing season. This is when everyone's getting together or the couples are becoming like official or you know, the single people are dating more, stuff like that. And I mentioned this in another video before as well, but I think it's worth mentioning again. They say that five people you spend the most time with are a reflection of who you are. And if you're dating someone that is super unhealthy or they only eat McDonald's and they won't eat anything that is not a burger and pizza and a milkshake, then it's gonna be hard for you to eat healthy. And it's gonna be easy for you to fall into that kind of, that kind of mindset as well, that, those kind of routines as well. I mean, if you're very young, maybe it's okay-ish, you know, like it's not that big of a deal. But I do think a grown man, like a, a grown guy who says, you know, ill to anything, to veg, won't eat vegetables. I mean, that's, that would be a complete turn off for me. And the same kind of principle goes for friends. Like you want to make, be closer with your friends that are sporty or be closer with your friends that are 
enjoy movement basically in the winter it's so hard in the winter it's cold you don't want to go outside you don't go for many walks you don't like move as much and that is a problem you can go for little daily walks every day like me and Steph me and my fiance right we go on walks every day 20 minute walks right half an hour walk sometimes that's like 210 minutes more a week 210 minutes more of exercise than not right and literally it's just 20 minutes a day, but it makes such a big difference. And if you have someone to do that with, if you have like someone that we live with will be even better, but let's say you have a neighbor, a roommate, family member, friend who lives by, someone who will hold you accountable, you can hold them accountable, you do it together, and it becomes something that you really enjoy. If not, because I know with me, like when I go back to London, none of my family members are doing this with me. They, they, will, they will never take walks with me, um, no. So, so you can also do it by yourself, you know, instead of like ordering something on Amazon, what I'll do is I'll go to like Boots myself, or go to Super Drugs myself, or take a walk, go to the actual shopping centers where it's warmer maybe, and then actually do, you know, a bit of shopping there. Or just do some window shopping, even though I, for me, window shopping always turns into shopping shopping, but you know. But you know, when it comes to things like makeup or you know, that kind of stuff that you get from those type of shops, it actually, sometimes you can get a very good deal when it's in store. Wrap up warm, be prepared because the cold, I used to, I used to care so much more about how good my outfit was than you know, the cold. And I think that's okay when you're like going on a night out, you just get into the cab, you go straight there, you, you know, it's fine, you're going cab home as well. But if it's like, you know, a normal day, the problem with these types of winter months, the problem with the colder times is that we're moving less. Like literally, that is the reason why people put on weight in the winter. People are sitting at home in front of their heaters and not moving at all, or trying their hardest to avoid going outside because it's cold. But if you are wrapped up warm enough, at least you'll be able to sometimes take, you know, go outside, take walks, do something. Maintaining your weight, being slim, these things don't come from just exercise alone or organized exercise alone. It also comes from your daily activity, just random things you do during the day. Your non-exercise activity actually makes you burn more calories than your actual exercise activity. So if you're going to your reformer Pilates classes, you're going to the gym, you're doing, you know, some organized exercise, right? You're doing a YouTube workout, whatever, but you're taking the elevator instead of the stairs, you're sitting in bed all day, you're, you know, at your desk all day at work, you're not really doing anything else. You are missing out on the bulk, actually, of calories burned in the day. Unless you are an athlete, your non-exercise activity is actually more than the calories burnt when you do exercise. So opt for a good jacket, something that is warm. I usually, I don't really wear a hat, but I do think a hat is important, but maybe a hood. I always buy a jacket with a hood so that I can keep my head warm, like the heat doesn't escape. But also like say like if I wanna style my hair, then I can just like slowly take off the hood. If I wear like an actual hat and then just put it off, I, you don't know what your hair's gonna look like. Like I don't, I don't like cat hair. And speaking of like fashion, right? The moon boots, the wellies, you know, any kind of shoes that make you walk around like this. You know, you don't wanna wear those daily. Sometimes still wear them because they are cute, but you need shoes that you can really walk in as well. You need shoes that are gonna help you move more. Like I just said, you know, you want to, have the option of walking, have the option of moving in general. You just don't want to be always wearing shoes that always keep you restricted. You also want them to fit you properly, you know? Like the less you move, the less calories burn and the more you're probably going to put on weight for the winter. You want to have one really good pair of boots. You know, if you really like the wellies kind of look, like something like a, a riding boot would be like probably better. Not an actual riding boot, like they actually ride in, but you know, something that's in that style. A knee high boot, in a nice leather, really comfortable, a softer leather. Do indoor sports, indoor activities. You know, it's warm, you meet people, it's fun. So things like squash, you can do squash inside. I think you can play tennis inside as well. There are tennis courts inside as well you can do swimming again go with your family member friends i had a comment recently 
of someone who said that they started doing boxing, like boxer size. Again, perfect. And let's say like, if you want to start this and you've never ever, you know, done any exercise before or done this type of exercise before, I would say try it three times. So sometimes you do an exercise for the first time and it just feels so hard because you've never done it before and it can kind of put you off doing it again. But for me personally, I always try things three times. By the third time, you will know for sure whether it is for you or not. When I started bouldering the first two times, I hated it. I'm telling you, I hated it. Now I love it. Now I understand why people like it because it's that sense of achievement when you get to the top of the wall and you're like, oh my God, like I made it. It's, it feels great. And if I quit like super early, I would have missed out on, you know, such a nice sport that I actually really enjoy. So after the third time, then you know you like it and you can then commit to a longer period if they have, you know, memberships, if they have, you know, subscriptions, whatever they have. And obviously speaking of memberships, last tip, you can join the gym. I know a lot of people do not go to the gym during the summer because they feel like they want to go out, you know, and be more active in general. But it is good for the winter, I think, to go to the gym because it's cold outside. You're not gonna run if you normally run. You're not gonna cycle as much. Definitely sign up to the gym. There are classes as well you can do at the gym. And all the things I mentioned before, sometimes some gyms do offer these types of things like squash and climbing and stuff as well. And even if they don't, like right? even if it's just the treadmill, the weights, the stairmaster, that's good enough. It's right there, all from the comfort of the indoors. So thank you for watching, guys. Please follow me on Instagram. It is the mermaid jade underscore. Like the video if you like the video so that I know, you know, what videos that you like. Subscribe and I will see you in the next video.